In this video, we want to prove that the maximum of a and b is equal to 1 half times the quantity a plus b plus the absolute value of a minus b, and the minimum of a and b is equal to 1 half times the quantity a plus b minus the absolute value of a minus b. First, let's start with the maximum of a and b, and we're going to start with uh, the right side of the equation. So let's assume that a is greater than or equal to b, so this doesn't really matter which one is bigger, but we're going to assume a is bigger as we can interchange the values. So if b is technically bigger, then just let a equal b and, and you have this inequality. Okay, so starting with the right side of the equation, because a is greater than or equal to b, the absolute value of a minus b will be just a minus b. So by definition, the absolute value you remove the absolute value when a is greater than or equal to b, and then you put a negative in front when the inside is negative, or when a is less than b. So because we're in this condition right here, we're going to just remove the absolute value. And so b minus b is going to cancel, and I'm just going to be left with a plus a. So that's 2a, and then half of 2a is a. So what we did was we showed that the maximum of a and b is indeed a. And that's exactly what we assumed here. Now for the minimum of, of a and b, here we're going to assume the same thing that a is greater than or equal to b. And now we start with the right side of the equation. Well, the absolute value of a minus b, in this case, is going to be a minus b if a is greater than or equal to b and then negative a minus b if a is less than b. So because a is greater than or equal to b, the absolute value of a minus b is just a minus b. And so that's what we did over here. But remember, you have to put a parenthesis over the, or between the a and the b because we have a negative that has to distribute to both of these. So now what we have is a minus a, the a's are going to cancel, and we're going to have b minus negative b is going to give us 2b. So half of 2b is b. So what we showed here is that the minimum of a and b is equal to b as we assumed. And so this proves it.